Hey guys, for those who don't know me, my name is Ricky Nelson and this is The Vet. It's been about two years since I last did anything on this channel and um, yeah, we back. Um, what I can tell you for sure is that this is going to be different. This is not what it used to be uh, for a lot of different reasons because definitely I'm not the same person I used to be two years ago. So what can we talk about except the new world order that's basically what this is our lives as we know them have changed and some people are saying they have changed forever this may be our new norm i do not know to what level but yeah it's a definite possibility it is a very sobering thought to realize that what you thought was solid what you thought was stable your life your work, your career, your business could all go away in an instant. A great percentage of us are on unpaid leave and even some have been let go altogether. I remember in the beginning it was a lot of fun. Um, I loved being able to stay home and spend time with my family. It was, it was so, it was, it was such a blessing and it, it still is to this moment. But sooner or later, you're faced with a question as you watch your finances dwindle with no income. You see, there's always that rotation of spending and earning. But right now, we are only spending. That's all that's happening. We're only spending. And eventually, the question will rise of how are you going to make it? The other problem is that we can't plan for this. We do not know when it's going to end. We do not know how long this is going to last. So whether you have 5,000 shillings or you have 10,000 shillings or you have 20,000 shillings, if it's one week, maybe your 10K might last you. If it's one month, your 20 might push you. But what if this takes a year, maybe two? What's going to happen? As I record this, there is a floating rumor that is moving around social media and all other avenues of information that the government said they need to put in more stringent measures in Mombasa. And everyone is of the opinion it's lockdown, as an announcement is coming, lockdown in Mombasa. We do not know from when until when exactly, but that's what everyone's thinking. So let's just take a second or take a minute and just really look at what this means. For some people, a lockdown is fine and inconvenience, but not greatly because they have most of what they need. Um, their fridges are fully stocked. Uh, they have money for emergencies. They have access to healthcare and a lot of other amenities. But for some, a lockdown or the announcement of a lockdown is borderline apocalyptic. There are people who are dreading that announcement and for very, very many and different reasons. But let's try and focus on those that they mostly share. Um, as at right now, there are people around us who, if they do not leave their houses in the morning to go out there and broker a deal, or do a few odd jobs and get that little money that they get every day, they will not have what to put food on the table with in the evening. Our realities are relative. That's the point I'm trying to make here. There are some of us who are quite okay. And then there are some of us who are just living. And then there are some of us who are surviving. These are our lives. This is what we do every day, 24-7. And what this pandemic has taught us is that our lives are fleeting. What we feel matters to us so much is actually insignificant. What a way to come back, right? Um, basically, I'm... I'm over here feeling like I'm sounding like one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. But uh, let's, let's end this on a more positive vibe. Um, I first want to take a moment and appreciate 
all the healthcare workers who are out here helping other Kenyans, helping other people all over the world fight this, deal with this. The people who are working on vaccines, people who are working on medication, we appreciate you so much, so, so much. We also want to appreciate our teachers. A lot of parents with kids at home right now are fully understanding what teachers go through every day. Um, you guys do an amazing job, uh, hands down. And as soon as this, and as soon as this is over, you can be sure we are bringing back these kids to you. Um, I can't, I can't leave without saying I have to say this about our governor. I don't know if he's gonna see this, but uh, your His Excellency Ali Hassan Joho, you are doing amazing things. Keep at it. We appreciate everything that you have done, everything that you are trying to do, and everything that you will do. And with that, again, I am Ricky Nelson, and this is the vent. See you next video. Hopefully it'll be happier than this.